Welcome students to chemistry concept. This is Pankaj Singh and now we are going to talk about Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. And actually this is a very fundamental principle which actually uh, changed the way we were thinking about atomic models. And the principle says it is impossible, it's not possible to determine simultaneously the exact position and exact momentum or velocity of an electron inside an atom that means because electron if is a wave it's a wave moving with ultra high speed it's something like this or even not like this it is something it is moving zigzag so actually i cannot say obviously when something when a particle moves with ultra high speed for us it is impossible to find out that at what position it is actually present at what moment it is just like example uh, we can take example of wings of a fan which are moving with ultra high speed we, we, we cannot say that uh, which wing is at uh, what position at what time so in the same way because electrons are moving with ultra high speed it is not possible to calculate their velocity first of all because every moment velocity is a vector quantity and every moment at every time if it moves in a circular motion its direction changes and if there is a change in direction there would be change in velocity even if it is not a circular motion still its angle keeps on changing its its direction keeps on changing so i cannot find out velocity even if i find find out velocity i will not be able to find out its position at the same time either I can find out velocity or I can find out its position I cannot predict both the things simultaneously together now if it is so if, if it is really so that I cannot find out the exact position and exact velocity then there is a problem the problem is with the concept of orbits we say that orbit is a circular path around the nucleus in which electron revolves and the formula to find out the velocity of electron has been given by Bohr. Now what is Bohr doing? He is giving us a formula using which we can find out the exact velocity as well as the path is fixed that means we are able to find out the exact velocity position also okay so that is not following this Heisenberg uncertainty principle actually the principle was about momentum like you can see from here delta x is uncertainty in position delta p is uncertainty in momentum x represents position p represents momentum so I cannot find out x exactly I cannot find out the position exactly there would be some 5 or 10% margin of error similarly I cannot find out the momentum also exactly there would be some margin of error so delta p this is uncertainty in position delta p is uncertainty in momentum and this will always be greater than h upon 4 pi so we can say that this delta x and delta p are minimum uncertainty and del x is minimum uncertainty uncertainty in position similarly del p is minimum uncertainty in velocity in sorry momentum so now see del x into del p is always greater than h upon 4 pi there will always be an, an error of h upon 4 pi okay what is momentum momentum is mass into velocity and obviously mass is certain mass doesn't change so if we can write it like m into del v h upon 4 pi so if someone asks me that you have to find out uncertainty in velocity so what I'll be doing it would be del 
v is equally greater than h upon 4 pi uncertainty in uh, position del x into m this is how we I can find out or we can find out uncertainty in velocity if uncertainty in position is given now let's find out that how can we use this uh, okay what is the significance first of all as, as I told you it rules out existence of definite path of the electrons and other similar particles that means it rules out the existence of orbit there cannot be a fixed circular path followed by electrons because obviously with the formula we can find out its velocity and if the orbit is considered then its position is also constant is also definite and we can find out so using this it is not possible that we can predict the position as well as velocity simultaneously so there should not be a orbit Again, the effect of Heisenberg's uncertainty principle is significant only for motion of microscopic objects. It is not valid. It is not significant for large objects. It is only significant for very small particles like electron which behave like a wave. Then, then let's solve a problem. My, a microscope using a suitable photon is employed to locate an electron in an atom within a distance of 0.1 angstrom then what is uncertainty in measurement of velocity see when it is written that within a distance of 0.1 that means it is saying as the uncertainty that means del x is 0.1 angstrom we have to find out del v fine what we can do we can use the formula del x into del v would be always greater than h upon 4 pi into m because this was actually del x into del p is equally greater than h upon 4 pi del p is that is momentum is mass into velocity so we come we find out we come we, we reach to this for this expression now del x is given as 0.1 angstrom or we, it's better to write it into meter 0.1 into 10 power minus 10 meter we know the value of pi we know the value of it's 4 we know the value of h and mass of electron is also also constant or, or fixed so if we put all these value then we can solve it for the value of del v that is uncertainty in velocity i hope this thing was clear to you if not you can always ask us in our comment section and please don't forget to subscribe for more videos of organic inorganic and physical chemistry thank you